Okay, I'm going to be trying something out here today. My name is James PFP. This is not the banjo cast. This is not pitchforks and flaming torches. This is merely something that I'm doing with my uh, available equipment. And I've got a, a new machine for a new machine, new microphone. So I want to test something out here. Here's a funny thing. I've been looking at this list for the month, the last two months, really. I've been following earlier months of this year and also February, but this is the old bits page on Wikipedia, Def 2018. Uh, these are updated by people around the world, of course. But Billy Graham is listed for today, yesterday, today. Let's go back to the beginning of the month. And these are always alphabetical as well by day. And the thing that I've been looking at in interest, oh, 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 you can't see them. Right. Here we are. The thing that I'm looking at on the obits page is this. Hmm. It's mostly the ages of the various people. 74 here. Hundred and seven Barris Kit Belarusian head injury. I'll tell you something I've been noticing since the beginning of the year. I'll note. Uh, I'll, I'll go to here first. Barris Kit, Belarusian American rocket scientist. He didn't begin his career in rocket science until after the war. Interesting. He's a very old man. Hmm. Here's, here's a few things I've been noticing. I'm going to use a find, the find function, which is at the bottom of the window. I don't think you can quite read it here. I'm going to look for things here. Uh, collision. The word collision. Highlight nine matches so far. Indian politician, 41 years of age, traffic collision. Lokendra Singh. And uh, currently was, a ser was currently serving as a politician. Traffic collision, age 41. Where's the next one? A 28-year-old Nigerian footballer in a traffic collision. Next, a 26-year-old Afri South African footballer in a traffic collision. Next, a 75-year-old Nigerian politician, Ministry of, uh, Minister of Internal Affairs, but from some years ago, in a traffic collision. John Nanzip Shagaya. Next, 20 years of age, Ghanaian singer in a traffic collision, Ebony Rains. Next, 78-year-old Bruno Spinelli, Italian water polo player, Olympic champion in 1960 in a traffic collision, presumably in Italy. Next one, an American rabbi, 71 years of age, on the 5th of the month, David. And last, I would imagine, no, second last, a 26-year-old American football player that was early in the month. And then a 41-year-old Brazilian-born Togolese footballer in a traffic collision. So no less than five or six footballers this last month. And, uh, and in traffic collisions, almost all of them. <laughs> I could look for footballers and find more in the footballers, right? But traffic collisions. Uh, this is going to appear in the... the search quite a few times, so I'm going to just search for 73. 
23 matches for 73 in the month so far. Age for both of these. Age again, an Egyptian actor. Swedish footballer, 79. Oh, that's his footnote. Jim Bridwell, American free climber. 1973 in that case. An Italian composer, Samuel Mapazu, Malawian politician and author from high blood pressure. French journalist and author there. Not 73, but the year is 1973. An Australian judge, age 73. American judge, age 73. Health economist, and that's all of them. Oh, I think there's a faster way to go to the top, surely. Let's try one more. Roman Catholic. First one, 55, a Roman Catholic prelate from complications involving or with from diabetes. Second, 93-year-old Canadian, Bishop of St. Jean, Archbishop of Edmonton, some years ago. Third, a Lithuanian prelate. Three prelates. Four, another prelate. Five, another prelate. Five of five of them were prelates. In this past month. And if we were including January, oh, not, uh, let's see, let's go to January, earlier months. One of 17 matches uh, here, 84-year-old American, American, another prelate, Maltese, another prelate, Italian, another prelate, Maltese, another prelate, a bishop, another prelate, and a priest, the first priest in these two months. An 89-year-old priest. Polish prelate. A Catholic theologian. A, another prelate. Another prelate. Another prelate. Brazilian, 73 years of age. Uh, that previous case, since 2010, was bishop in uh, Brazil. Maltese. Basically, until recently, it looks like he might have had a sickness because 2016 he stepped down or something. An American prelate, a Catholic prelate, Ecuadorian uh, prelate from Brazil, prelate from India, a prelate from America, prelate from uh, Maltese, <laughs> Malta, an Italian Prelate again. Oh, we're going through, yeah. So largely prelates is what's being tracked by that. Imagine. <laughs> if we take American and Canadian out of here, that's quite a few. That would that would limit quite a few like uh, searches. Footballer. 42 matches for footballer in the month of January. Musician. Six matches. One from the Moody Blues here is the top one. Ray Thomas. Billy Hancock, the second one. 
This is in January. Uh, the actor from Glee, Mark Salling. And two of these are mentions in the obit notices in the paper. So it's a double listing. Only four then. Ah, uh, there were more though. American Soul Singer strangled Betty Willis. On the 1st of January. Hmm. Not a pretty picture at the end of her, at the end of her life. Well, musician or singer? 39 matches for singer. There's two, opera singer, singer-songwriter, Ray Thomas, also a musician though. Kuwaiti, traffic collision. See how this works? See how this little thinking game works? Traffic collision. It's a very common way to die. Traffic collisions are on the rise, my friends. Not necessarily because anyone can control the car or any take over control. Just because more people are there using them. Uh, France Gall. American singer Tom Netherton. American blues singer Denise Lasalle. Russian singer and teacher at age of 90. Filipino opera singer there at age 75. Greek singer, comedian, and actor, 13th January. American jazz singer Marlene Verplank, 84. 74, Amer American gospel pianist and singer Eddie Hawk Edwin Hawkins. The Irish singer and guitarist Dolores O'Riordan. The Cranberries and Dark, that was in January 15th. Bangladeshi playback singer. There's a curious one. I've never heard of a playback singer. Portuguese actress and singer there. Uh, age 78. 40. Swedish singer. Anorexia nervosa. Yuck. Terry Evans on the 20th. Songwriter and guitarist. Also singer. Right next to this one on the 20th of January, Naomi Parker Fraley. Her. Rosie the Riveter. Next singer, Belgian, 64 years of age. Indian actor and playback singer. Again, another playback singer. American blues singer, songwriter, guitarist, cancer, Preston Shannon, 70 years of age, the 22nd of January. Also on the 22nd. There was a couple interesting ones. Billy Hancock was there. Ursula K. Le Guin. The writer of, she, she won two or three uh, science fiction awards in the late 1960s and 70s. The Hugo, the Nebula, the Locust, the World Fantasy, much uh, each more than once. I've read one of her books. I'd like to read more of them. Strongly influenced by themes like anarchism and Taoism. And I very much appreciated the the dark hand of of uh, the left hand of darkness. I thought was a beautiful thing. It really was a beautiful thing to read. Uh, that one won the Hugo and the Nebula in 1970. Her subsequent novel, The Dispossessed, made her the first person to win both Hugo and Nebula in Best Novel twice for the same two books. In later years, she worked with film and audio. She was part of a group along with Ken Casey, Brian Booth, and William Stafford that founded the Oregon Institute of Literary Arts, which is now known as Literary Arts in Portland. Influenced by fa fantasy writers, including Tolkien, science fiction writers, including Dick, and in her own high school class, though she did, they did not know one another. Central figures of Western lit, such as Tolstoy, Virgil, 
Virgil and the Bronte sisters and feminist writers such as Virginia Woolf. An interesting read is Ursula K. Le Guin. Anyhow, back to this. On the January 22nd, the 73-year-old singer there, uh, hmm, Annie Young, American politician, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Hmm. Another singer, American country, 52, um, Larry White, actress on Castaway, peritonal cancer. Mark E. Smith, 60, English singer-songwriter, the fall, lung and kidney cancer. Hmm. Australian singer-songwriter Steve Foster on the seven, 71 years of age. Jazz pianist up here, composer, politician, Tommy Banks. Indians, so this is another musician that skipped the, skipped the classification. Saber Cody, Indian singer. Russian singer, 67. American singer, Buzz Clifford from Influenza. Floyd Miles, 74, American blues guitarist, singer, and so excuse me, songwriter. American opera singer, this is the 30th. American gospel singer, 90, age of 93, the voice of prophecy, Del Decker. Delker, sorry. Belgian singer and actress, 73 years of age, Rene Deneuve. Canadian born American singer on American Idol, 31 years of age, Leah LaBelle in a traffic collision. Another traffic collision. Just so happens involves a singer. That's the 33rd on the list, so we can add that to the musicians. Some of them were double, but not many. And we know that there's a few other ones. You can see quite a lot of funny patterns emerging. Why it would be that traffic collisions are, tra are frequently there. W one's, one that I haven't been looking for one that I haven't been looking for, although I know that it appears on the 22nd, January, American ice hockey player, suicide by jumping, 32 years of age. Second one, four of seven matches in the month. Let's go to the top. On the 9th, suicide by gunshot, Brandon Hickson, 36, American politician, Idaho House of Representatives, by gunshot. Uh, 21, year, uh, 21 years of age, American football player by gunshot. That's uh, on the, n the 16th, January. By jumping, 32 years of age. 34, game developer and esports executive from China by gas. Ima I would imagine that's uh, carbon monoxide. Um, by hanging, a 35 year old American actor and musician, which we've already mentioned. And that's five of that's five incidences in January. How about February? So far, just so far. One of eight matches in February. Sixty-four Iranian environmentalists by hanging. On the eighth of February. On the seventh. Um, Jill Messick, who's famous because she was a talent manager for Rose McGowan and therefore is implicated in the Harvey Weinstein business. Uh, Roman Filipov, suicide by grenade explosion. I, I actually talked about this one on Facebook after it occurred. It's on the 3rd of February. 61-year-old Israeli artist by hanging. Boaz Arad, 68-year-old Cuban nuclear physicist and scientific advisor, simply suicide, named after Fidel, or took the name, and that's five for the month of Jan or February so far. It's ten so far this year that have been newsworthy. That's, that's not total suicides in the year. That's merely ones that are unavoidably newsworthy. So with that, I think I'm going to leave this uh, recording as done and uh, just check to see what this microphone's like. And I'll upload this after. <laughs>